Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the returning grilled cheese burrito, and in this case, it's the double steak variant. And as you can tell by the very top of this one, we're actually going spicy with a few of those jalapenos thrown in for good measure. Here we go. It's the spicy double steak grilled cheese burrito here at Taco Bell. Let's do it. Oh, man. Comfort food on blast. Wow. Well, I gotta say already, this is already feeling like a double portion of steak. I got a nice mouthful with that one, guys, along with a decent amount of the chipotle sauce. That steaminess is beginning to pick up just a little bit. It's not too bad. And I mean, at close to $6, I'm really glad this is actually packed with the good stuff. And again, just to kind of keep showing you the inside, it's all the classic goodness that you know from Taco Bell, just with the added cheesy goodness on the outside. And again, all the toasty action that you can see from that tortilla in the bottom. It's just a very, very delicious cheesy situation. It's now time to go in on the return of an item that was first introduced back in 1997. So buckle up because we're about to get into four different versions of it. So here we go with the first one. Feast your eyes on the edge from Pizza Hut. And in this case, it's the ultimate variant featuring a combination of toppings that include pepperoni, Italian sausage, green peppers, onions, and Roma tomatoes. Moving on to number two, we've got the Carnivore, featuring a nice combination of pepperoni, ham, Italian sausage, and bacon. So definitely a meaty situation for sure on this one, guys. Up next is the Vegetarian, featuring a nice combination of green peppers, onions, mushrooms, and Roma tomatoes. And again, the premium thin crust action that we have on the edge here is on display. And last but certainly not least, we've got the Pepperoni Lovers. And guys, as always, lots of awesome looking pepperoni on top of the edge pizza here, guys. This is looking pretty awesome. Of course, the thin crust action, as you know, from edge to edge, plenty of pepperoni all around. So if you're wondering, am I really sitting in the car with four pizzas right now? Yes, I absolutely am, and this is a blast to do, guys. So starting off with the ultimate, again, take a look at that. This is a very awesome situation we've got here, guys. The combination of all the toppings, again, stretch from edge to edge, and you can see the seasoning pretty nicely on this. This is looking really, really good. It's the ultimate variation of the all-new edge. First time for me trying it. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm getting a lightly salted Italian seasoning vibe with this. It's not over the top, but it's definitely elevated. So it's making my mouth water just a little bit, but in a nice way, guys. This combination is nice. I'm really digging the ultimate variations or just like a combo type pizza. Yes, sir. A thin and crispy crust loaded with toppings all the way to the edge. Four times over. Hi, can I help you? Hey, how you doing today? Good, thank you. What could I get for you? Uh, you know, peep this out. Can I try that new bourbon bacon cheeseburger? Uh, just the burger by itself as a double and that's it? Okay. So here we go with the all-new bourbon bacon double cheeseburger here at Wendy's. And as always, this is looking like it is going to be a lovely burger eating situation, guys. Yeah, Wendy's definitely knows what's up when it comes to their beef over here, guys. And of course, you got to double up on it at a bare minimum because a single patty is just a tease. But as you can see here again, lots of cheesy goodness, the bacon goodness, the onion goodness that's on there as well. Those crispy onions are definitely looking and smelling pretty good. I can smell them actually. But guys, very hefty. I can't wait to do it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Guys, a lovely situation. Again, like I said, you gotta do the two patties at least because a single is just a tease. And man, this thing is super hot right now, which is not doing me any favors considering it's like 90 plus degrees as I'm filming this here. Even with the windows cracked, guys, I'm beginning to feel it. But honestly, I don't know if it's a combination of the heat or maybe the meat sweats, but I'm really digging this burger. Let's go for a couple more bites, guys, but super delicious. And again, another banger of a double cheeseburger over here at Wendy's. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. We're this time I'm over at BK once again to check out another one of their all new hand breaded chicken sandwiches and guys this one's looking to be a little heated and not only a little heated possibly a little oversized as well guys feast your eyes on the hand breaded spicy chicken sandwich and i am definitely loving what i am seeing here this is looking a lot bigger than the classic version that i did recently and i gotta say this is looking really really great mm. Mm -hmm. right as i went down into that first bite guys the mouthfeel is awesome right away the flavors instantly jump out at you the saltiness of that chicken patty is absolutely there. Now the heat is beginning to pick up a little bit. It's got a little bit of steam action going, but guys, flavor is awesome. Mmm. Oh, and did I mention there's three huge deli pickles on this right now? That was a little bit of a struggle, but a fun one. Really good. Guess what? There's a new papadilla in town. Well, sorta. And I'll definitely explain, so let's get into it. Guys, feast your eyes on the all-new Parmesan Crusted Papadilla. And in this case, we've got a nice crusted situation on hand, guys. This is looking pretty fantastic. 
This technically is a new option at Papa John's, of course, but naturally what it really is, is an add-on to the existing Papadilla lineup. So think of it as a very nice upgraded enhancement to what's already out there. And if you guys want to see some of the Papadillas that I've done in the past, because I've done literally all of them, take a look at the playlist popping up on your screen here right now. But guys, I got to say, man, this is looking lovely indeed. Let's give this a shot. It's my variation of the Parmesan crusted Papadilla over here with some sausage, pepper, cheese goodness. Let's do it. Mmm. The crunch right away. Oh, man. Oh. Guys, the crispiness is on point. It's a beautiful presentation, and it is toasted and baked to perfection. Really, really lovely situation on this one. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, where this time I'm headed into Little Caesars to check out their latest hybrid pizza mashup, this time apparently with a calzone. That's right, first we had the slices and sticks and now we've got the crazy calzone. So stay tuned because it's up next. All right, so to break this one down for you, what I've got here is a large cheese pizza with a Parmesan and butter calzone-like crust that's actually filled with garlic white sauce and even more cheese. And guys, I gotta say, the aroma of butter in my car right now is pretty crazy. On top of the Parmesan, gotta admit, this is looking pretty dynamite. Ah uh, yes, pizza review time in the car during the summertime. Guys, this is blistering hot right now, just minutes old right out of the oven, and honestly, it is heating up my car ridiculously. On top of the crazy weather outside, I'm pretty much sweating all over the place here. Oh, and did I mention this is super cheesy right now? Here we go. Mmm. Straight up cheese pizza with lots of Parmesan on top of it there. Mmm. The back of this is absolutely awesome. It's more of a hyper breadstick, but with a thicker type of cheese, trying to simulate ricotta in my opinion. And even still, it's got a lot of garlic flavor as it's dripping right there. Look at that, pretty awesome. What's going on everyone? And welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, where this time I'm hitting up Wendy's to go in on their latest promo, which looks absolutely stacked with plenty of big bacon cheddar goodness. And you better believe I'm going big on it too. Guys, feast your eyes on their all new Big Bacon Cheddar Triple Cheeseburger. Definitely a tower of power, guys. We have a lovely situation in front of us here right now. Super tall, lots of beef, lots of goodies here. Looking pretty fantastic. The cheddar bun on the very top, a lovely situation. How I'm gonna wrap my mouth around this, I don't know. I've done plenty of triple burgers here at Wendy's in the past. Let's just give it a go, guys. I'm very excited to do this for you right now. Mmm, whoa. Beef and cheese, whoa, overload. Guys, with this amount of bacon, this amount of cheese and the various types of jams and of course the cheese dips and all the cheese in general, you gotta have a lot of beef because I figured it would be an overload of the toppings. But when you add a whole multitude of beef to go with it, I gotta admit it matches up pretty beautifully right now. Man, I am so done right now, especially after those few bites, guys. It's very gluttonous, very tasty. And I gotta say, guys, the epitome of what a fast food burger should be like because it's so cheesy, so meaty, so beefy. Everything about that with the bacon, just a lovely situation all around. So Shake Shack is not so subtly putting it out there that it's black truffle season. And guys, I gotta say already, this black truffle burger is definitely looking the bomb right now. This is looking and smelling insane. You can absolutely smell that black truffle goodness. And I gotta say the caramelization of this burger, the way it looks on the outside, it's looking pretty awesome. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Wow. The fact that they're advertising that these are real black truffles, wild cultivated in Spain. Guys, I gotta tell you right now, that absolutely is gotta be correct because the flavor of this is so up and above and beyond any type of truffle oil that I've tried in the past. Banging, let's keep going in. This is freaking delicious right now. Mmm, mmm, wow. The fried crispy shallots are only accentuating the black truffle oil itself here, guys. And once you combine that with the caramelization of the beef over here, I gotta say, this is amazing. I'm only sorry that I didn't get the double because I gotta say, this is making me hungrier and hungrier and that's only the second bite. Let's go for another couple of bites on this. I am so glad I'm doing this and it's even better because it's at night right now. Pretty banging, let's keep going in. Where this time I'm over at Wingstop, or shall I say Thigh Stop, to go in and some pretty tasty looking bone-in chicken thighs that are launching nationally across the country as part of this all new virtual brand. So without further ado, let's get right on into it, guys. Feast your eyes on the bone and thighs three-piece combo. And I gotta say, I'm already digging all the fried goodness that I've got in front of me here right now. This is looking pretty awesome. But guys, the main star of the show, the three-piece bone in chicken thighs. And I opted for the lemon pepper flavor because that's my absolute favorite, guys. But judging by the size of these, I gotta admit, they're a little on the small side, but the crispiness is absolutely on point. As you can see, that pepper goodness is all in there. You definitely have a nice crispy coating on the outside. Yes, sir, these definitely look reminiscent to the regular lemon pepper chicken wings that I get over here at Wingstop, but obviously these are much bigger pieces of chicken, and I have to admit, I am really digging the presentation. Even if they're a little on the smaller side still, it's a lot more meat considering on the bone here compared to the wings. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, 
come on. I already knew this wasn't gonna be bad considering what it is. I mean, it's a bigger piece of chicken naturally with all the flavors, depending upon whatever you get over here at Wingstop that you know. And actually, before I put this down, now that I think about it, how could I not wanna go for a little bit of a dunk with this, guys? Here we go. Let's give this a shot really quick. Nice little shot of the meat real fast here. Let's just get this one coated up as nice as we possibly can here. Let's go a little bit more on the other side. There you go, dunked all over the place. Let's give this a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. <laughs> well, if it's the supposed chicken wing shortage or the increase in prices across the board, I'm not seeing any difference here in Southern Cali. It was the same price as the regular wings that I would see on the menu over here, with the exception of having these available now. So your mileage may vary. Believe what you will. I can honestly say I'm going to be getting that a lot more often if it stays on the menu as long as I'm thinking it's going to, because honestly, the quality seems so much better. It's thicker. It's definitely more hearty. And like I said, it's more of everything on a bigger scale. How could you not like that? So let's just get into it because I know you want to see it. It's the all new Detroit style pizza here at Pizza Hut. And already I am digging the caramelized edges of what we've got going on here, guys. That cheese around the crust is looking really awesome. So what we've got here is a square pizza cut into eight pieces. And on the very top, what you're noticing is vine ripened tomato sauce. The cheese is underneath it. And I got to say, it is definitely awesome looking. Basically, that's designed to keep the crust light and airy. So it's reversed and I'm already digging that. 50% more cheese all across the board on this one, and those crispy, cheesy edges are definitely on point. Really digging the overall presentation, and as you can see, we've got some awesome looking pepperoni on this one. There's double pepperoni on this, and it looks absolutely delicious. It really feels pretty hefty on top of it. You can really feel there's a lot of dough, there's a lot of cheese with this, and again, presentation is killer. All right, so let's dive into this one here. I'm gonna pick up a slice because the box recommends going for the corner pieces for all the cheesy goodness there. And obviously you really wanna start off with that and I can see why. Take a look at that. Nice and caramelized around the edges over here. You can see they line the pan with that cheesy goodness. No difference in the recipe. It's the standard pizza crust here. So the pan goodness already feels buttery in my hands. But again, that vine ripened tomato sauce and that pepperoni is looking utterly fantastic. Let's give this a shot. It's the all new Detroit style pizza at Pizza Hut. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. Saucy. You know, with me not being a super fan of pepperoni, this is very, very delicious right now. I gotta say, guys, the quality of the pepperoni has a little bit of spiciness to it. It's a little bit of heat, and I'm really digging that. So nice quality all around, and it complements the amount of cheese on this. It is very, very cheesy, and the dough has got some nice thickness as well. And that crunch was just awesome. Just the right amount of spice, too. But for me, it's all about the vine ripened tomato sauce easily on that one, aside from the caramelized edges of that dough. And the overall presentation was just delicious. 50% more cheese and definitely a banging situation all around. Run, do not walk to give this one a shot. You're going to dig it. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty.